All right, boys and girls, here's the first of three identity problems that I'd like you to do. All right, the first one here is in regards to this sample. I'm going to tell you right up front, it is not aluminum. All right. Um, we're going to try to identify it based solely on its density. So. But to get density, we need mass and volume. So let's uh, real quick get our get our uh, digital balance here. We'll zero it out and throw it on there. The mass is thirty-two point four four grams. Let me write that over here. Mass equals thirty-two point four four. Grams. Mm -hmm. Now, how could we determine its volume? Now, you know, if it were a liquid, we could pour it into a graduated cylinder and just you know, read the, the volume off the, uh, the numbers along the side. Now, there is a method that we could measure the volume of this using a graduated cylinder. We're going to do that in uh, question number two. It's called water displacement. What we're going to do in this one is utilize the fact this is a rectangular-ish, cubic-ish uh, geometry. And the volume of this is simply the length times the width times the height. So if we measure length, width, and height, we'll uh, be able to compute its volume using a little bit of arithmetic. Now you guys have seen these bef this before. This is a vernier caliper, and this measures in millimeters. Now I did convert them to centimeters uh, for you last time I used it. I'm not going to do it this time. The numbers I'm going to pull off here are going to be left in millimeters. You'll have to change to centimeters. All right, let's measure the very thinnest dimension. All right. I don't know if you could read that. It says 6.34. We'll call that the width, right? The width is 6.34 millimeters. All right. And let's see, let's go with this other dimension right here. The second biggest one. Uh, we'll call this the length, maybe. It really doesn't matter. When we multiply length times width times height, it doesn't matter what order we uh, multiply in, because multiplication is commutative. Right? Um, the length is 25.35, 25.35 millimeters. Um, and then lastly, the, the largest dimension here is going to be this dimension here. I guess maybe if we stand it up, we can look at it and say, that's the height. And we'll zero that out. Stick in the vernier, the vernier calipers. And there we go, 75.55. Height equals 75.55 millimeters. All right. Now, question again, if you didn't catch it. What metal is this based on its density? It's not aluminum. Now, you are going to have to uh, do a little bit of Googling around or looking around on the internet. Once you determine the density, just go into Google and type in what metal has a density of blah, 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 whatever it is that you computed for the density. Remember the, vol uh, the density uh, equation is density equals mass over volume. Now, typically, mass is given in grams, so we're good there. The volume is typically in cubic centimeters, so you're going to have to um, convert your millimeters to centimeters and then multiply them.
to get the uh, correct volume units.